Today in 3D printing news, we've got trucks, trains, Olympics, and the world's largest 3D printer. So let's dive right in. Starting off with the blue oval from Detroit, we've got Ford launching a program to help owners easily design and create their own 3D printed accessories for their brand new Maverick truck. Now this is actually a pretty neat idea. At the simplest level, they integrated some T-slots around the truck, which you can print custom organizers for and mount them inside. Now they call it the FITS system, or the Ford Integrated Tether System. It's really just a series of mounting slots for organization in the center console and underneath the seats. Basically, if you want to design your own part, they've got a QR code in there that you can scan and it'll link you to download slot geometry of the entire area, along with a few pre-made accessories. If you think about it, the possibilities are basically endless. Uh, you could already do this if you had a 3D scanner and the geometry of your vehicle, but now it's pre-made, ready for you to go. Uh, you just, yeah, maybe you need a tablet holder for your rear passengers, or an extra cup holder, or your own mini trash bin, or a grocery bag hook at the simplest level. So just download the files, design your own custom parts with ease. This is pretty cool, and even kind of funny. Ford's like, all right, go make your own parts, ha ha ha. I kid, I kid. But uh, for automotive 3D printed customization, this is definitely a little bit better than what we've seen in the past, like those custom 3D printed badges that you could get with your Mini uh, that I don't think anyone ever really used. But uh, let me know in the comments section down below what you would want to make for your truck if you had that ability. Moving right along, we've got the UK's brand new high-speed rail network implementing 3D printed concrete structures to help deliver environmental cost and community benefits. How? This really isn't just your average 3D printed concrete. The high-speed rail line will be using graphene reinforced concrete developed by Changemaker 3D. Let's take a closer look. The appropriately named print infrastructure, I like it, well done. Uh, will consist of a series of robots that will create structures on site, cutting down on labor, time, and costs associated with the traditional method of transporting uh, precast slabs through roadways. This allows the technique to work in physically restricted areas where road access simply does not exist. Additionally, with these robots, uh, they'll be printing unique lattice structures that will significantly reduce both the amount of concrete required and the waste products created. The graphene-laced concrete is another big innovation in this project as well, cutting down the use of steel reinforcement that's traditionally present in concrete construction. This improves the construction safety, the flexibility, shortens build times, and supposedly decreases the carbon footprint. Moving right along, did you know that 3D printing helped South Korea win the gold medal in archery at the Tokyo Olympics this year? That's right, additive manufacturing every step of the way. The Hyundai Motor Group 3D printed custom grips for the archers that won gold in the men's, women's, and mixed categories at this year's Olympic Games. The Korean automaker has been a longtime supporter of the Korean Archery Association in a partnership that started over 30 years ago. Now, using both 3D printing and 3D scanning, the custom grips were optimized for each player's hand, going as far as customizing the materials and the shape for each athlete's individual preferences. Another key innovation was their CT scanning technology to inspect the bows in non-destructive ways. Computerized tomography technology, or CT scans, can look for internal stress damages that can affect the performance of the bow. 3D printing has recently started to make its mark in the world of sports, and particularly at this year's Tokyo Olympics. The South Korean archery team isn't the only one furthering their athletic performance with additive manufacturing. Other sports like cycling, track and field, and even the Olympic podiums have all found ways to improve upon the status quo with the help of 3D printing. And in other ways that you may have already guessed, we've got Mark Force helping out with the Paralympics. With prosthetics and custom equipment being, at least traditionally, very expensive to create, 3D printing adds a whole new dimension to the Paralympic Games. The complex, very individual needs of these athletes is the task perfectly suited for 3D printing. And that's what 3D Verkstan and Solid Print 3D in the UK have been working on. Not only creating perfect prosthetics, but bringing the costs down significantly while creating very strong, dynamic parts. And finally, we've got the US Army with plans to create the world's largest 3D printer. As if that wasn't crazy enough, US DEVCOM Army Ground Vehicle Systems Center, who's ordering this behemoth, is also requiring it to print metal. Now, you might be wondering, exactly how big is this thing? The build volume for this monster of a 3D printer is a staggering 30 
feet by 20 feet by 12 feet. And that means the build volume alone is not too far off from the size of an average apartment building or apartment unit. It's called the Jointless Whole Project. It's being led by the Applied Science and Technology Research Organization, or Astro America, a nonprofit formed to advance American competitiveness in key defense industries. The machine's primary purpose is to create large components for military vehicles namely creating a monocoque-like structure due to their extra strength and weight savings that traditional manufacturing methods struggle with. The machine is expected to be ready in about 14 months and will be installed at and operated by the Rock Island Arsenal Joint Manufacturing and Technology Center. So what else do you think they're going to print with the world's largest 3D printer? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Here at Vision Miner, all we do is functional 3D printing, high temp, high strength, industrial stuff. So if you need that, hit us up on our website. We're here to help. Just give us a call. We also use and sell all kinds of equipment from 3D printers to 3D scanners. So we can help you find the right thing if you're not exactly sure where to start. Now, if you guys like this content, you got something out of it, you want more of it, let us know by hitting that like button and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Have a positive rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next video.